police, open up. Open up. Ma'am, this is a serious situation. I'm not going to ask you to open the door again. Oh, wow. So we're actually cooperating. Good evening, beautiful woman I do not know. No, I am not your best friend. It's Sheriff McSnooze to you. Listen here, pretty lady. You're under arrest for having improper meals and a horrific sleep schedule. I'm here to cuddle you and help you relax and sleep. That's my job. Excuse me. Oh, you've racked up five charges. If you cooperate, I'll turn you loose if you eat a proper meal and sleep. You want to know your charges? Mom, I'm going to need you to step inside your home. Thank you. So, listen, you have two warrants out for your arrest. Yes. This is dating back to the 5th of April, 2020. You didn't eat or sleep that day. One infraction for being late to work because of poor sleep habits. Another infraction for drinking too much caffeine. And one other charge for being too gorgeous. Well, gorgeous, gorgeous girls also need their gorgeous, gorgeous sleep. <clears throat> You want to get the charges dropped, Mom. We can work something out, I suppose, if... Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> Miss, you can't go grabbing my waist, my belt, like that. Grabbing me again? Oh, so you're a bad girl. <clears throat> get over here. Don't you prance away from me. You're resisting arrest. Bad girl, bad girl, get over here. Stop laughing, I must do my job. Yes, I do have handcuffs. The world is less chaotic now that you're officially detained. Shh, 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 shh. Remain silent while I read you your cuddle rights. Hmm, interesting. You're smiling. Oh, you're into being handcuffed. Not my sweet, innocent best friend secretly having naughty kinks. I'm over here trying to make your day and get a laugh or two out of you. Give you free cuddles and you're getting turned on. Okay, okay, fair enough. I do look pretty damn good in this uniform. I don't blame you for lusting over me all of a sudden. Oh, not all of a sudden. So you've been lusting over me before all this? I can't say I was completely clueless. Mark has confirmed and told me you possibly, sort of, kind of, have a small crush on me. But I took it with a grain of salt. Because we've been the best of friends for so long. I've been truly terrified of losing you by making a stupid confession. I, I don't want to know what my life would be like without you in it. I know you're in a vulnerable situation right now with everything going on. I only want to help and be there for you. To be honest, I, I can't stop thinking about you. Being with you makes me incredibly happy. I've been so much happier since we started spending a lot more time together. I... I want you. I really, really want you. All of you. Not only because you're stunning on the outside, but because of your heart and soul. You navigate through life in this unique way, and I respect that. You see the beauty and good in almost everything, no matter how shitty life gets. You keep going. I admire you. You've made me a better person just by knowing you. I care about you a lot more than you realize. I want to show you off. 
I want to be the one who makes you smile the biggest. I want to be the one who makes you happy and keeps you laughing. So um, I, I've made dinner reservations on the balcony at Sarriette for you and I on the 14th. I know how much you love to dress up and take pictures of fancy food. <laughs> I wasn't planning on asking you this way, sitting on your living room floor, you being all handcuffed up like a criminal. And I, I also know Valentine's Day isn't necessarily your thing, but will you be my Valentine and join me for dinner? Wait, before you answer, I, I want to put this out there too. There's absolutely no pressure. You, you can decline and there'll be no hard feelings. I'll leave the duffel bag full of goodies in your possession. I'll uncuff you and leave. Whatever you're feeling, please tell me. Sorry, I just kind of poured my heart out to you. You'll think about it. Of course you can. Of, of course you can. No rush at all. Oh, wow. You're only interested in what's in the duffel bag. Typical you. Oh, so the bag is make or break. You're such a little brat. Hey, check it out. Personally, I think I did very well. Oh, yeah, you're right might be easier for you to check it out without cuffs on. There, you're free. <laughs> it's all there, all your favourites. When I saw this cute fluffy blanket, it reminded me of you. It was on sale. I couldn't resist, okay? This is perfect for you. You always complain you're freezing. <laughs> you can't complain now. This will keep you warm. Let me wrap you up. Let me see how you look in it. Oh, you're cute. It's cute. You look like the Pokemon in Swadloon. You're adorable. Wait. Don't. What? Don't cry over me giving you a freaking blanket. No, please. You're, you're breaking my heart, beautiful. No, 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 no tears today. I shall wipe them away. Oh, why are you like this? You're so perfect to me. Oh, a kiss for me? Hmm. I'm gonna, so I didn't do the kiss noise. Mm. Caught me off guard is all. Ah, I didn't mean to flinch. You could try again, maybe, if you'd like. May I kiss you back? You are an amazing kisser. Your lips are so soft. You let out the sweetest little moan. I adore you. Mm. You've just straddled me. I I like that. Are you sharing your blanket with me? It is very cozy. I picked a winner. Told you I did very well. I apologize. I'm extremely sensitive and turned on right now. Oh, the little movements, the view of your gorgeous face hovering over me, being underneath this fluffy blanket, the way you're gently oh, rocking your hips and grinding on my... Oh, you are so beautiful. You make the prettiest moan. Don't you dare hold them back. Let out those pretty moans. 
Mm, grind on me. Do whatever you want to me. I'm yours. <sighs> Oh, 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 good girl, grind on my lap. Oh, just like that, pretty girl. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, mm. oh. Wow, please kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait. I'd like to wait if that's okay. This is amazing. Don't get me wrong. You're amazing. I just I have to control myself as much as I desire to peel you out of your clothes and make love to you. I don't particularly want to have sex on your carpet underneath the cheap fluffy blanket I got at the farmer's. We deserve something extravagant and romantic and private and memorable. You're so important to me. I want you to know having sex with you right away was never my intention. I would very much love to dress up with you and take you out to a fancy restaurant. I can picture us quietly giggling, trying to figure out how to pronounce all the French words on the menu. And then when the food arrived, I'd happily watch as you take 100 pictures of all the pretty food and wait with anticipation to see your face light up with delight as you take your first bite from the meal that was recommended to us. I'd like to offer you my suit jacket when you get cold on the balcony. You're always cold. I'd really like to share a dessert with you and seductively lick sugary icing off your fingertips like in those romantic films. <sighs> Sorry for rambling. I just... I want so much more than just sex with you. Well, of course I do. I want to have you moaning my name and arching your back for me. Have your nails dig into my shoulder blades, marking me up. I want that so badly I do. But when that time comes around, you will beg me for more. And more. And more. Mm. We've got a lot of pent-up sexual tension to release. A lot of catching up to do. Gorgeous. Mm. When's dinner? I have reservations for 6 p.m. Oui? Did you peep my French? <laughs> there is a dress code, by the way, but I know whatever you select to wear will be as stunning as you. <laughs> I will absolutely not wear this cop uniform. <laughs> really. I'm really, really glad you've decided to join me for dinner as my Valentine's Day date. <laughs> You're the sweetest. I'm looking forward to it. But you know you're still under arrest. I must fulfill my duty as cuddle police and well actually cuddle you. I don't want to lose my job. Come here. Play with me and I'll spoon you. Mm, my bad. Mm. Hey, I'm the best big spoon in the cuddle fall. <laughs> we only cuddling you, silly. Mm. Shh, shh, shh. Cuddle. Shh. Stop wiggling your butt. Oh, you want neck and cheek kiss? Wow. Hmm. That depends. Are you actually going to try at least to take a small nap with me? Hmm. <laughs> I suppose I could cuddle and kiss you. My gorgeous Valentine. Now, 